Have you ever wondered what makes New Zealand apples so special? What gives them such a strong appeal, captivating consumers from Asia to Europe? The secret lies in the perfect harmony between nature and human effort. Grown in an ideal temperate climate, on fertile lands, and cultivated with advanced farming technology. Each New Zealand apple is not only crisp, sweet, and juicy, but also embodies the essence of the land and sky. It takes just five seconds to bite into a New Zealand apple, but years of dedication go into producing this perfect fruit. This journey begins with the harvesting of millions of New Zealand apples, a source of pride for the country's agriculture. Are you curious about the process from vast apple orchards to an impressive annual production of hundreds of thousands of tons? Let's dive in. The first step to growing high quality apples is soil preparation and selecting the right variety. The soil is tested for a pH level of around 6.0 to 6.5, ensuring proper irrigation and nutrient absorption. It's then enriched with organic fertilizers and essential minerals to create an optimal growing environment. After soil preparation, apple seedlings are planted using a trellis system to optimize growth. Tensioned horizontal stainless steel wires provide support, guiding the tree's upright development. Seedlings are typically propagated through bud grafting or branch grafting onto dwarf or semi-dwarf rootstocks, ensuring quality and high yields. The planting distance between trees is about 3 to 4 feet with row spacing of 12 to 15 feet, allowing adequate sunlight and ventilation. The trellis system, with its posts and wires, is installed early to guide the tree's upright growth, prevent toppling, and keep the canopy well organized. During the first to third years, apple trees require careful care to develop healthily and prepare for fruit production. A drip irrigation system efficiently supplies water and nutrients, helping roots grow strong without water logging. Pruning is a crucial step, allowing the tree to receive adequate sunlight, reducing pest infestations, and keeping the canopy ventilated. Overcrowded or weak branches are removed so the tree can focus on developing strong, productive limbs. Natural pest control methods are applied to ensure sustainable growth without compromising fruit quality. To improve soil fertility, organic fertilizers are combined with microbial fertilizers. This blend not only enriches the soil with nutrients, but also maintains its looseness, allowing roots to develop more effectively. This fertilization method ensures crops absorb essential nutrients efficiently, leading to healthy growth and high yields. In spring, from September to November, New Zealand's apple orchards burst into bloom with white and pale pink flowers. This phase is vital, determining the apple yield and quality. 
Each tree can produce thousands of blossoms, though only a small portion will develop into fruit. Honeybees play a crucial role in pollination, transferring pollen from one flower to another. A single bee colony can pollinate millions of flowers in a season, a process lasting seven to 10 days and dependent on weather conditions. Cold or rainy weather can reduce fruit set rates, so some orchards even use artificial pollination to enhance efficiency. As apple blossoms begin forming fruit, the growth and development process unfolds throughout the summer, from December to February. This critical period determines the quality of the apples at harvest. Initially tiny, the apples gradually increase in size, absorbing nutrients from the soil and light. The apple harvest season in New Zealand runs from February to May, as summer transitions into early autumn in the Southern Hemisphere. This is when apples reach perfect ripeness, boasting firm skin, vibrant colors, and naturally crisp, sweet flavors. To maintain the highest quality, apples are handpicked to prevent bruising and preserve their freshness. A mature apple tree can produce between 100 to 500 apples, depending on the variety and care conditions. On average, a picker can harvest 10 to 12 crates per day, equivalent to approximately 6,600 to 8,800 pounds of apples. After picking, apples are collected in large bins and transported immediately to sorting facilities. Here, they undergo thorough inspections to ensure they are free from bruises, blemishes, or pests. They are washed using automated systems or manually to remove dust, soil, and impurities. Some facilities utilize misting technology or aerated water baths to clean the fruit effectively without damaging its natural skin. After cleaning, apples are inspected to eliminate any bruised, damaged, or substandard fruit. Sorting machines or workers categorize apples based on size, color, and freshness to meet the requirements of different markets. Depending on the intended use, apples can be kept whole, sliced, or processed into various products like dried apples, frozen apples, or apple powder for the food industry. For example, the production of apple juice begins with selecting fresh, evenly ripened apples free from damage or defects. The apples are then thoroughly washed using water or an automated washing system to remove dirt, impurities, and pesticide residues. Next, the apples are chopped and crushed before being fed into a pressing machine to extract the juice from the pulp.
The extracted juice undergoes a filtration process to remove sediments and is then pasteurized using heat treatment to ensure food safety. Finally, the apple juice is bottled, packed into cartons or pouches, and stored at low temperatures to preserve its flavor and quality before reaching consumers. After pre-processing, apples are packaged in formats ranging from small bags and plastic containers to large crates for distribution. They are stored at low temperatures immediately after packaging to maintain freshness, ensuring they reach consumers in peak condition. New Zealand apples a testament to nature's bounty and human ingenuity. From orchard to table, their journey is one of precision, care, and innovation.